I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, and salutation to the sincere Akim, this caution and truth to the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible, and sincerity and truth. All right? I say to Wadi Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, for putting the Spirit on me to do another lesson. Pray that this lesson is very fine. So, a while back, I was I watched this movie recommended by a friend of mine years ago. And there's a line in the movie that um, you know, I just want to bring up edification. Just a quick hit. Um, the name of the movie is called The Vicious Kind, alright? This is what the guy says in the movie. Then I'm gonna go bring up some precepts. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow night? I don't know, Rock. You're asking me out on a date? It's Thanksgiving, you dumb shit. What are you doing? No. Oh. Nothing. I don't celebrate the fact that my ancestors exterminated a race of people. Well, I did. It's Thanksgiving, you dumb shit. What are you doing? No. Oh. Nothing. I don't celebrate the fact that my ancestors exterminated a race of people. Well, I do. It's Thanksgiving, you dumb shit. What are you doing? No. Oh. Nothing. I don't celebrate the fact that my ancestors exterminated a race of people. Well, I do. My old lady's a hell of a cook. Right? So the guy said that he don't celebrate the fact that his ancestors um, slaughtered a race of people. Right, and that other this other Edomite clearly says what I do. Right, which clearly shows the the, the, the spirit of Esau, you know, the spirit of Esau, like he does he doesn't care, you know. But the, the point I'm bringing out with this video is that you know Esau puts the truth in these movies, and you know people just brush over it like it's nothing. But most I is you know expounding knowledge and so forth so that we can um, so that we can grow right these are two photos that um, I got through the spirit from um, one of the apostles and I was afraid most so one of the brothers I'm not sure who is the brother but you know these are some um, very fine photos that he put up and um, the tribe of God there's Isaiah 65 and 11. It says, but, they, but, they, yet, but ye are they that forsake Yahweh, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that truth, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Right? And that's what happened when the um, so called Spanish Columbus, Christopher Columbus, Cristobal Cologne, Something like that, Slakia. Right? When he came to this land. You know, this is a depiction here of what occurred. And afterwards, he raped, pillaged, and plundered. You know? Enslaved our people, so called Amerindians and Native Americans and Hispanics. That's why they look, you know, they have that um, certain complexion, majority of them. But they are they are they are actually brown skinned people, all right. And um, on your right here, this is a chief tablet with artif artifacts with um with an artifact showing you know in Hebrew the Joseph tablet. I'm just gonna read this quick in 1877. Chief Joseph, the leader of Nez Perce, Native Indian tribe, revealed Slakia revealed an ancient artifact to General Nelson A. Miles. It was a pendant, a one-inch square clay a tablet with the Syrian writing, as you know, Hebrew. Chief Joseph said the tablet had been passed down in his family for many generations. Right, you see, there's a, a Syrian star. He's wearing that. It's like um, his sacred medicine bag bears a Syrian star. The tribe of God. 
as the um, signet and um, you know, his pre superior second address this is what Christopher Columbus used to get to, to this part of the to, to the new world so to speak you know, that's what he do when he came to Aseret which is now called you know, South America right now distributed in different nations it says um, second measures chapter 13 verse 40 those are the ten tribes which were which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king who Salamansar the king of Assyria led away captive and he carried carried them over the waters so came they into another land but they took this counsel among themselves that they would would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt that they may keep their own statues which they ne which they never kept in their own land they entered into the euphrates by the narrow places of the river for the most I then shoot signs for them as in it was a hard, like a hurricane season, all right? This is this red line here shows the journey that they made. They didn't came on no damn bearing straight or any other means. They came escaping persecution. And they went around the Horn of Africa into this part of, to this land. And it's, okay. it's depicted in, in history that you know Solomon would send out um, Send, send men to this part of the world. That's how they knew where it was. It wasn't just a guess, all right? And it says, um, where, uh, where am I? Yeah, for the most I then shoot signs for, for them and held the flood, held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country were a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Aseret. Then dwelt they until the latter time and now when they shall begin to come all right um so you know the most has bring out this information and i just want to read this quick preset this is psalm 64 verse one hear my voice o, o powell in my prayer preserve my life from fear of the enemy all right because the tribe of god well we were all afraid of the enemy because we went off and the most i was judging was terrible all right you walk contrary unto your house, or you walk contrary unto us, right? To hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, right? Because they had a secret counsel, all right? Christopher Columbus and the rest of them had a secret counsel to destroy us. You know, they may seem to be smiling and so forth, but they had a secret counsel to destroy our people, right? Um, for the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at, at the perfect, all right? That's what they were planning to do all the time, because, you know, Esau is a board of wickedness and he's a sword, according to Genesis and Malachi, all right? So suddenly do they shoot at, the, at him and fear not. It's lucky I've been up all night, so I'm just trying to get this lesson out. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune, they commune of laying snares privily. They say, Who shall see them? Right? They say that they could do all these things to, to our people, you know, for gold, for other resources, and just out the wickedness sake. Since they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is is and the heart is deep. Right? It's deep in your heart to, to search out iniquity. Verse seven. The Mosai shall shoot at them with arrows suddenly. Shall they be wounded? The Mosai is gonna the Mosai is doing alright. The Mosai will um destroy them, alright? In the near future. Because you see a lot of things going on right now. Um, Russia has a choir singing, <laughs> singing "Burn America, Burn, Let's Burn America" or something like that. 
All right, and you know, I'm looking forward to hearing that song in Hebrew. All right, verse 8, it says, So shall they make their own tongue to fall on themselves. All them that see them shall flee away. So they're going to make their own tongue to fall on themselves, just like this clip in this movie here, right? And Moses is going to continue to bring out, bring out um, this information, all right? And with that, I pray this lesson is already fine. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahawah Kakadash. And double honors to the apostles, and that was a great milestone. A salutation to the 144,000 men, the one third men, women, and children. Let them be saved, and that will be in the bloodline of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, um, Confusion Faces, Amber Indians. You know, that is elected to be saved in these last days, right? Shalom, Brahatam, Akiyamil.